friendship is being there for someone when they're feeling low, but not being afraid to kick them by Randy Campbell Holland. To me, this quote means that a good friend will always be there for you when you're feeling sad, but also isn't afraid to keep your ego in check and let you know when you're doing something wrong. And I also think that everyone should have a person like this. To me, this person is Jasmine Carney. She was my trumpet section leader my freshman year of high school, and she just has such a motherly presence that puts you at ease immediately. I first met her at a trumpet sectional a few weeks before school started, and our friendship from there went on to the first weeks of band, or the concert bands, and then the rest of freshman year it continued to grow, and then it still thrives to this day. Even though me and Jasmine butted heads at first, we quickly grew a strong friendship that has helped me grow as a person and a trumpet player. Like I said before, the first time I met was at a trumpet sectional that took place at her house a few weeks before band camp started. I almost didn't go to this because I didn't know anyone else going, and it was kind of weird as a freshman to go to a senior's house. But I'm really glad I took the chance because I made some really great memories and met some incredible friends. Then a few weeks, a week or two later after that, came the event that I was dreading probably the most, and that was band camp. For those of you who don't know, band camp is almost a week of 13 hour days of marching and playing your instrument with water breaks only every other hour. And I played first trumpet my freshman year, which was a really cool and exciting thing, but also meant that band camp sucked even more. But Jasmine was there through it all to encourage me and just really get me through the week. Once band started in earnest, we really kind of started to fall out. That mostly stemmed from me having a unneededly large ego because of playing first trumpet. And I really just wanted to play how loud and high and just kind of play out, but she wanted me to really like blend in with the band and make it sound better. After marching band ended, we had a lot more chances to talk and interact with each other. Throughout the rest of my freshman year, we started to go a strong friendship. And that all started when she finally succeeded in bringing my ego down. She taught me the importance of balance, blend, and being a team player. Another thing that helped us was jazz bands. Every morning at 7 a.m., I would get up and I would go to band, and me and her would play music for an hour, and then even after that, I would go to regular bands and play with her for another hour. All of that time I had to spend with her really, um, really taught me to trust her when it comes to playing. And at the end of the year came the part I was dreading probably the most, and that was graduation. Graduation is the day when all of our seniors leave us, leaving only memories and traces of them behind on our lives. I was really nervous because I didn't know where she was going to college, and she had become such a big part of my life that I didn't want to let her go. But I was determined to keep in touch with her no matter where she went. Luckily, she ended up going to CMU, which was only about 20 to 25 minutes away. And luckily, she also seemed to like us because she kept coming back. She would show up to, to she would show up to band camp and give us candy and encourage us to get through the week. She would come to our marching band competitions in order to cheer us on, and she even came to a jazz band or two in the morning to go as an energy drink and a smiling face. She also helped me over text. Whenever I was down or I needed advice on something, I could always turn to her, and I know she would help me no matter what. She would always make to make she was always managed to make me feel better and put a smile on my face. To this day, I keep her updated on all of our band events, hoping that she'll show up and I get to see her once again. I hope I can continue to see her for the rest of high school and even beyond. Even though me and Jasmine kind of butted heads at first, we quickly do a strong grow, grew a strong friendship that has helped me grow as both a trumpet player and a person. It started at the section I first met her up until the first weeks of the concert band, where we kind of started to beef a little bit. And then after about a week or two into our concert band, our friendship really started to grow. And finally, it continues to this day when she shows up to band events. I think it's really important that you should be able to take constructive criticism because a lot of times the other person is just trying to help you. Remember, a good friend will always be there for you when you're down, but also not be afraid to kick you when you're going to stupid.